are we Sunday? We are, where are we? Office Max. No, we're not at Office Max. We're at World Market and we decided to play a game today. Just got down the church and we're gonna stuff some, some of our stockings for, for each other, so. $35 total per person and we have 10 minutes in World Market uh, before we have to get in line. Best gift wins. Just kidding. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's, it's not a just competition. To be fun and then you get a bunch of random stuff in your stockings. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. We can only spend $35. Or we're gonna avoid each other in the store. You just don't look in my basket and I won't look in your basket. Sounds good. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Let's go. I'm so stressed out because I'm not adding and I don't know. I feel like I got a lot of food items. Well, that was really difficult. <laughs> 10 minutes is not a very long time. And even though we had been in the store for about 20 minutes, I realized I had no idea what to look for. I don't know, babe, how was that for you? I thought it was a blast. It was super fun. It just was really hard. But I also just think it's, I don't know. Uh, now we can't really use this video for a long time where I'm gonna know and he's gonna know, but thank God, Kenna, that you can put these together <laughs> for us. Kevin, you just need your own channel and then and then we don't have to worry. Yeah, you know, I thought about it. <gasps> There's a Ross here? I didn't realize that. I Dress for less, baby. I love Ross. Anyway, so yeah, I guess I guess uh, around Christmas time. I don't know what we got. But yeah, super fun, quick little date idea if you guys ever want to try this. Mm -hmm. Where are we going for lunch? Chipotle. Chipotle. As the say. Our grandpa says a poodle. And I think he was serious the first time, but now he just does it for our benefit. <laughs> Two chapatl. So, what'd you get? I got carnitas. Yeah. Nice. I'm honestly not gonna lie, a little disappointed with how they packed. So, all I'm saying is that they packed it really tall and they left a lot of space like on the edges. So it just made it a little hard to, to carry, but. Okay, so we're home and I'm gonna show what I'm putting in his stocking because he's right there in the other room and he, and he would hear me if I said it. So here is one thing. These are all from Old Market. I'm excited. This. <laughs> one of these. to show you the stockings. I mean, you too, you're gonna see it in a minute, but. <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> Hi Kenna, it's Wednesday. Do you ever just buy a Christmas present? Not for anyone in particular, but just cause it's like a really good deal. Like a $60 pillow that was $11. And you decide, I don't need that pillow. I'll just give it to someone else. So you sit it on your couch for a day and you sit with it in the plastic packaging and then at 10 p.m. you decide that you want to keep the pillow because it's a really nice pillow. Babe, thoughts? I knew from the minute she pulled this out of the package that she was going to end up keeping it. It just took her like six hours for her to decide that she was going to keep it. Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. It's really late. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Kenna. It is Thursday. Got my coffee. I don't know if I've actually like really shown you this, but look at this mug. Okay, so got Frodo. And we've got Sam being like the hero of the entire Lord of the Rings. I, I love this quote. There is some good in the world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. And I really have to remember that quote during finals week because I'm losing my mind a little bit, but it is okay. Calvin left for work. So he has an early class. I had a Christmas party last night, church, and that was really awesome. We did a sock exchange and it's so funny because I thought, okay, I'm going to get some socks that are just going to be sort of funny. And I found a two pack of mac and cheese, like craft mac and cheese socks and I felt so bad because everyone else brought really nice socks I mean a couple of them were sort of funny there's some Grinch ones there were some Jesus ones but I just expect there to be 
more gag gifts. But anyway, it was a really good time. There was a three course meal that the admin, the really sweet admin cooked and we played trivia and yeah, it was just a really sweet time. And then today I have like more kids coming in maybe to talk about grades. And then I'm gonna go hang out with my friend Asia and then maybe go to another church Christmas party. And then tomorrow we've got Calvin's work Christmas party. Tuesday night we had my work Christmas party and then Saturday I think we're gonna go ice skating and then Sunday we've got another church Christmas party so it's it's a week full of parties yeah it's been good I'm not partied out yet so that's good so yeah so I want to show you the socks that I got super cool it also had a good amount of candy in that package so that was really nice yeah so I feel like I'm up and ready super early because there's a road that's been closed on the way to work for this entire week but yeah and so like the first day I was on time I was actually pretty early get to that road and there's a pg e truck sitting there because there was a huge storm a couple days ago so I had to take this other road and then I literally sat at this crossing for 15 minutes because nobody would let me over it's just a really bad place to cross and so I was slightly late but it was okay so this whole week I've just been like okay gotta leave earlier gotta leave earlier well yesterday the road actually opened up but I've been just used to moving a little bit faster in the morning so I've got like 15 minutes <laughs> I have a very specific Christmas movie memory. You know, in Santa Claus is Coming in Town when like the wizard is stuck in jail and he doesn't have any magic and he's like, I only have, you know, some magic beans or maybe it's not magic beans, I don't know, and some candlesticks. Every single time I change out my tabers, I think of that and I always try and kind of quote it to Calvin and he didn't really watch the claymation movies as a little kid, but we like lived and breathed them and so I'm always like, I only have a few magic candlesticks and he's like uh, no so that might just be an us thing we have this collective memory with all of the people mom and dad's age cool with it this is the outfit i found this little plaid dress on amazon a few months ago no last year last year i yes around like saint patrick's day and then i thrifted this sweater at one of the consignment stores in Carmel. I also thrifted this at, I think, Savers, like back in high school. And then my jacket is from Macy's. So it's been so cold. I, I really, really don't want to be cold today. And in the afternoons, my room has been freezing and I suspect the AC is on or at least that they've turned the heaters off. But even so, I have a blanket. Someone even told me to bring a space heater. Like, you know, it's bad when you're inside. Anyway, we're, we're going to try and be warm today. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm made for fastness. I don't know if Luke does this, but are you ever like trying to do anything and then he comes in and shows you a video and then it turns into five videos and suddenly it's little kids trying to play flag football and you're like not even on track anymore. Good morning. <laughs> We are getting ready to go to Blossoms, which is the little coffee shop. Did I ever take you to Blossoms again? I don't think I did. It's the cute little coffee shop about 10 minutes from our house. And I think it's actually closing soon. So I want to spend as much time there as possible. It's the one that looks very Waldorfy and has the very like painted walls that really look like our, our hippie school. So yeah, I want to get some coffee and I really want to read a book for fun because today is my first official day of Christmas break. Plans for today are that and then maybe some chores and then we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go ice skating in the morning, so. So if you like it. Oh, you're getting it today? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought see. you were saying like you were getting a fish in the main. Oh, you're getting it from Elijah today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why you wanna do a water change. Okay, so we're also getting a pregnant guppy today. <laughs> 
anyway, yeah, that's um, happy Saturday. <laughs>
That made the boys get really aggressive. And then she got pregnant and got very aggressive. And wow. my favorite fish's tail got slightly mangled. Oh my Something's god! Wrong. Something by her. Very wrong. By her, presumably. Dear Lord. So bad. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's your guys' is responsible. <laughs> <laughs> well, about to be parents. Yes. Wow. Oh no. Look at her. She's so cute. The girlie is we're like we're enjoying parents. looking her out. By this logic, we're already parents. Yeah, that's true. This is a very, very pregnant guppy. Yeah. That's now our responsibility. Yeah. How about you say that prayer that you just said? <laughs> you can say it. I believe your words were good. Please let there be peace in this tank. No carnage. Just babies. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. We are gonna head to REI because I can't find my, my cold weather gloves anywhere. I was gonna say snow gloves, but like how often do we actually go to the snow? And then we're gonna go meet up with Nick and Christina and get some dinner and then ice skate late into the night. It's gonna be awesome. Excited. Hi. 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 We're at the oh, Cookies. It's my first time. Haley said that they're really I like it. delicious. <laughs> like you're just narrating. <laughs> So, these are the food. These are the fail with it. What do you want, Nick? I have no idea. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's give you a Outside of caramel cookies. <laughs> oh, it comes with syrup. Okay, so we got waffle. Wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> Nick. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got waffle, peppermint, uh, peppermint maybe. something. Yeah, that's, is that butter? It must be frosting. Semi sweet chocolate chip, ginger snap, and butterscotch. They're enormous. Guys, look at these cookies. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. Saying, You're so cute. Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. Except, well, take two. Do you want to explain what happened? I uh, yes, because it's my fault. Um, in setting up the camera, <clears throat> I accidentally flipped it to <laughs> selfie mode, so we got us, but through the reflection of the TV that's behind you, and then it was on time lapse, <laughs> so it was all a mess and okay. nothing worked. So we opened our stockings. I said just fake it for the gram. No, we can't do that. So what we're going to do is just kind of show you what we got in our stockings. So should I start? Yeah, because you started first. So okay. in order. All right. So the first thing that I got was a lump of coal. And it's not really a lump of coal. It's just gum. But it reminds me of uh, of dad because he always asked for coal every year because he's <clears throat> weird and he likes the way it smells. So lump of coal gum. And then so many... How, how long did it take you to find these? So many gummy candies. So many. About 0.7 seconds. Yeah. Because. Just like grab them from a bin. No, they all came in one large packet thingy together, I and then I couldn't that. fit that into oh the stocking, so I cut it up into small pieces. Well, it's perfect. It's fruity. It's fruity. Gummy pizza, gummy tiny worms, little tiny straw, or not straws, licorice. they're licorice. 
I mean, popcorn, hot dog, and some little sodas. And then I've never had this before, but it's gummy sour spaghetti. Sour spaghetti, which I like the idea of that because I like gummy worms. I love sour gummy worms. Mm -hmm. This is big, yes, from me. Sticking right below it. I'm just gonna get to that last. Sorry. And then look how beautiful <clears throat> these chocolate bars are. So the first one, they're both by Leaf. I've never had this brand before. Have you had this before? No. No. It's pretty. So we'll mark it. So this one is passion fruit. Very much reminds me of the O'Neill store, just the packaging. But it, they say that dark chocolate and passion fruit go really well together. So I'm excited to try mm -hmm. that. Product of Scotland. Interesting. Okay, and then the second one, look at this. Doesn't it just fulfill all of your like pride and prejudice themes? Look at this. Lizzie Bennett's wallpaper, but it's all gray tea dark chocolate. So I I think that's like not only beautiful, but these are gonna be really yummy. And then this. Oh, you can already tell I was so excited about it that I had to open it and have some. Look at it! It's red bean mochi. Did you see me like staring at this in the store? No. no. Okay. So this is like one of my favorite treats ever. I would have, I would take this over cookie. I would take this over <clears> cake. <throat> and you probably remember kind of going and getting it from the little Japanese market near our school, but I just love everything red bean. In fact, I almost made us late to a, a Stanford versus USC football game because I asked him to stop a little store in the Stanford mall to get some of these. <laughs> She did not make us late. We, she made we us late, late to the warm-ups and practice that I wanted to see. That was like an hour before the game, so we were but not we saw, anywhere We close weren't to late, it. but we saw. We we ended up seeing some of the ones. But anyway, I'm glad to have like a box of them. And then a couple more things. Some really sweet little face masks. This one's called What Happened Last Night. And then uh, these ones I think are just. Honey. I remember doing these very early on when we were dating. Were you just trying to impress me or did you really actually want to do a face mask? I was not offended by the idea of doing a face mask. So I was like, sure, whatever, I'll do it. I was not offended. So diplomatic. So yes. anyway, those are exciting. And then last is this little cute bottle of like Prosecco. So thank you, babe. I'm, I'm so going to enjoy bottles. that. Popping bottles. If I can even get this open. These are so hard to open for me. Got your so, little sword. Give me, yeah, I'll do the sword off the balcony. So, thank you. Of course. I had fun. All right. What was in yours? I think <coughs> you won. I, I think that my choices were not as great as yours. But yours were very clever, though, and I appreciated them. Thank you. Yeah. I have to think about, like, what was first. I think the first thing that I pulled out was the Marster. Mm -hmm. So, I've never done this before. It's really interesting. I'm really curious. Do you know what it is? Um, well, it's like... Um, it's not really slime or like play-doh but it's like kind of tacky and you can like play with it oh, know that maybe like i misunderstood what that was oh There's, it's moon sand yeah it's moon sand it's for moon sand yeah i was like not something that did because as a homeschooler my mom didn't want to make it i think i don't think you can make moon sand it's like a special coated sand oh well maybe not but <laughs> but like we didn't do the slime it wasn't until my siblings came along that they <laughs> whined and cried till they got slime so um I'm excited for this because it's just like something that is tactile to mess around with. <laughs> Got some caramel chocolate stroop waffles. Although in the first video, I think we decided that stroop waffles are kind of required to have caramel of some sort. I think that, so, yeah, I think it's always some sort of waffle with caramel in the middle, but. The addition is just different. the coating. Yeah, they're they different. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Redneck Cafe bacon hot chocolate, which I'm honestly really excited about. My dad's friend from college, I believe. His family, they run a food truck sort of business for like carnivals. And then they use that to fund their missions down in South America. Um, but they have everything kind of bacon. And so one time we had a bacon, uh, we had a chocolate covered bacon. We had bacon root beer that was delicious. Mm, ew, bacon um, root beer. It's quite good. Sounds disgusting. It is very delicious. So I'm excited about this, honestly. I almost got this for you, but I had to check and there's some milk in here. And so I was kind mm. of bummed. That's okay. So, yeah, bummer. We got two kinds of like, Slim Jims, I guess is what you'd call them. It's not They're like beef healthier jerky. Slim Jims. Um, meat sticks. Meat sticks, yes. Which I'm a huge fan of uncured pepperoni turkey and original beef and pork stick. So very excited about these two because of all kinds of stuff like that. It's just... Yep, so jalapeno garlic roasted crickets, which I, good for the planet and good for you. So it's a, a win-win. And then Kaylee <laughs> wins because she got the gift. So it's a win-win-win. So we all win. I'll try one. So I don't know, I always like eating funny things. This is Ento Life Kickers. 
That was a weird name. It is. I think the last thing on here. Oh, two last things. So, <laughs> the bro mask. So we have Kaylee. I think we knew do that a I was gonna face mask make... together. I think that I'm gonna look like Mr. Incredible with this on. I think this one is more iPad. Like they're. <laughs> I got you an iPad. They're um, yeah. cooling gel pads for it. your tired eyes. I feel yeah. I, I'm I'm game. My tired eyes. Mm -hmm. Say say goodbye to tired eyes. Okay, I did not read that. Bakuchi actually. what? <laughs> Bakuchi all. A plant-based retinol alternative. Oh, that's that's the buzzword for Kaylee right there. Retinol alternative that's gentle on the skin Retinol's but tough on tired-looking eyes. I'm tricking you into using skincare. Rich with bakuchiol, niacinamide, caffeine, collagen, peptides, green tea, and ginger. For all skin types, fragrance-free. Love it. And then, uh, lastly, we have a make-your-own hot sauce kit. So, a couple bottles, little... Little funnel. Funnel, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we've got a couple different <laughs> peppers and things to flavor or infuse. Thank mm -hmm. you, English teacher. And then, as important as that, in Kaylee's mind at least, the instructions to he go along with it. He pulled them out and he's like, why is there a piece of cardboard in here? So, yeah, I, I don't know, I think it's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. Would you do this again? Well, of course. Would you do it again? Yeah, I've done this before. Again. So yeah, but like with a time limit. Sure. Oh my gosh, turn your phone off. On another level at the moment. Sorry. Yeah, I would do this again. I think that it was fun to set a time limit, and it was stressful, but I think it just made me really, really think hard about like what you would like, and I had to make some kind of quick decisions. Did you pick this up at the by the? Yeah, corner? yeah. Well, I had seen it the first time we went through because we yeah. bought some other things first, but. Yeah. Anyway, it is Tuesday, so we'll see you on Wednesday. All right, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning, Kenna. It is Thursday, and it's like not even five yet, and we're about to jump on a plane to head to Texas. So, wish us luck. I just ran back inside to grab the coffee. Actually, it's supposed to be a little faster than this. All right, bye. <laughs> Okay, we made it. The heck, meal. Hi. <laughs> we are currently on a Ferris wheel in the middle of a sports store, like normal. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, it's called Shields. And we went to lunch dinner. Lunch dinner. It's like 20 degrees outside. Here, I'm gonna show you the Ferris wheel. You would rock back and forth by yourself if there was no one here, but you rock back and forth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you already did it for Oh my gosh. No, I, I started oh, recording just really now. Oh, really fast. <laughs> That's fine. See, but you already said it for yourself, so. But I wasn't recording then. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Alright. No, you were recording. <laughs> I don't like that. Chrissy, wake up. I don't <laughs> like this. Chrissy, wake up! Um. <laughs> now, you can't, right, now you can't put that in because that's copyrighted. Oh, so it's okay. We'll just there you we'll go. edit the heck out of it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. There you go. Done. Oh, it's I like going like down. Like um, what's it called? Um, going down a leap of faith. Oh my yes. gosh, it is. Hi ma'am, can you tell me what you what you ordered? I'm frozen vanilla latte. Okay? How cold is it outside? Like 90. Oh your vlog. I remember I watch these. I'm always the first person to watch them. Are you really? I actually You're lying am. To me. I'm not lying. Aw, sorry, we'll get you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Kaylee. I don't care. I still am the first person to watch them usually. Thanks. Oh, this is so funny. Well now you're in it, so. Can't fit as a seed from one of the trees. Gotten for your weird oh, fruit. Right.
This is now a game. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's getting trashed. What is it? It's gonna do it again. You always let me know. 